I want to talk to you about my tip number three, which, by the way, is also about testimonials. Um, you might think that if you have a case that impasses um, or that reconciles, that you have nothing to ask your client about, but that just isn't true. I had a, a case that impassed, and, um, and I debriefed that client because I wanted to know what worked well for him in the process um, and what didn't work well. We, we did manage to um, get some communication going in that case. I think that case failed because uh, the opposing uh, spouse, um, the, the other client, was, uh, was mentally ill. Um, and we just couldn't figure out how to um, get her to agreement without um, completely giving up the ghost for my client. Um, interestingly, his testimonial was really, really wonderful. He had wonderful things to say about how the collaborative process works, how it should work for most uh, couples, um, the benefits that it provided with him, the insights that he got into um, how to deal with his spouse. Uh, it was, uh, I was, quite frankly, I was shocked at how wonderful the testimonial was. So don't assume that because a case impasses, you can't get uh, a good testimonial from your client. And that's tip number three.